Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. And welcome back to more of Mass Effect 3. This is the Omega DLC and this is Hill and we are in the fire. Just came out of the frying pan. I don't know what these people are shooting at. Oh, Rampart Max. But we're joining the fray. Part mix just got tougher. But maybe it was that shield pylon that was strengthening him. Somebody's down here. Where are we going? Okay, support columns. Oh! We can extend the dam in the control room. That should get us across. Um, Arya, is there anything in here? I guess not. This place is empty. Irene here. We've engaged servers and cleared our first target. ETA to the Gozu district is on track. Excellent. Singularity. Okay. Well, I guess it's last time. Oh. 
knew it would come we in need to handy. Get to the central column before Cerberus sets off those bombs. All right, central column should be this way, right? No. All right, 1500 credits again. So, central column is this way. Nothing like a little slide and seat. I think they're sending forces your way. You think? They're messing with the support columns. We have to stop them. Great, and we don't have Nyrene, so use flare. just went live. The console is locked. We'll have to manually disable them. Take care of the bomb. Shepard, I'll handle the No cover. Seriously? There's next to no cover. This way, Shepard. All right. Over here. I'm coming. I am coming. Here. All right. What is it? We're clear. Here? Good. Nyreen, things are under control here. What's your situation? We're advancing to the Gozu district. Move forward. Keep that flight covered. Yes, boss. We're holding our own, but Cerberus has started targeting the civilians. Reports of casualties are coming in from all sectors. Just get to the rendezvous point. That's all that matters. Not in my world. Nyrene out. 
So how exactly do we get to Afterlife from here? I'm thinking the straightforward approach for a change. Nice. All right, let's go. Still need to find Arya's couch. Are we going to be going somewhere where that is possible or going up? Alright, what do we have here? A shotgun high velocity barrel, too. Cerberus. How do you know that? It's easy to tell. Never mind. Hmm. I guess this, uh... Ladder right here. Like they bit off more than they could chew. We should get a move on. Uh, we will, but I just want to make sure there's no mods laying down here. Oh. All right, maybe I won't go down there. All right. So this Petrovsky guy. Sounds like the guy that uh, helped invade Grissom Academy. The voice sounds the same. I think it's the same person. All right, 1,500 credits. Um, Aria, you can help me out here. What am I missing? I guess we do have to go down. Talon checkpoint is way over there. This gas had better not be fatal. Uh huh, data pad, 1500 credits. Ah, look at this video log. Civilian population contained, we should be ready to initiate the next phase of the project on schedule. Before host conversion, we should begin the process of fusing the control implants to the subject's nervous systems. With the current success ratio, we project being able to surpass demand by 300%. Alright, let's see the first entry. The first generation adjutants have been transferred from the containment area and are being outfitted with the implants. The previous batches have been processed and moved to the storage area. Second entry. We can now control when and where the adjutants convert their victims. Initial testing on various species provides ample proof the virus can adapt flawlessly, regardless of the host used. Third entry. With the civilian population contained, we should be ready to initiate the next phase of the project on schedule. Before host conversion, we should begin the process of fusing the control implants to the subject's nervous systems. With the current success ratio, we project being able to surpass demand by 300%. Mm. Alright, that's it. 
Those idiots were experimenting on adjutants. That explains the ones we saw earlier. All right, this should be our way out. Extra security. The doors only open one at a time. Hmm. High priority memo. Test adjutants have escaped. They are to be rounded up and transferred to Central HQ's holding area post haste. Damage is to be avoided at all costs under penalty of severe combat pay deductions. Anything here? Considering what they had locked up in here. Doors unlocked. Let's get out of here. That doorway leads to the Gozu district. Look out! No! Boy, another mech. Focus on the Atlas! Flare. Cluster grenade. Oh my god, really? Wow, okay. I'm not sure. I mean, it, it seems like I didn't get any warning. The next thing, he was just dead on the ground. Focus on the Atlas. All right, flare. Cluster grenades. Hey, Aria. Okay, we did it. Um, no ammo dropped. Okay. All right, game. I consider that cheating, but that's okay. just go without any ammo all right Arya I hope you're behind me let's go you're always rushing me all the time I liked it better when Morden Solis was here shooting up looters Morden is dead pity he was a very practical kind of Solarian all right 1500 credits Ah, look. Pistol Heavy Barrel 2. Ah, we picked up our ammo I was looking for. All 
right, let's keep moving. Take oh, out the Lord. turret. Flare. Poster grenades. Pull. Ah, I pulled the wrong thing. More cluster grenades. say this is so familiar almost like uh, this was from Mass Effect 2 but it's not it's a little different the layout little different but I, I remember these stairs here and but this is a much longer area in Mass Effect 2 and there were vending machines and stuff off to the left I don't know if there was a door here at the top. But this is very reminiscent of the Omega. Whoa. Friendly's incoming. Nyrene is waiting for you two in the markets. Okay. Civilian? If that Talon scout hadn't found us earlier, we'd be dead. Weapons bench, I think we're fine. Can't buy any new weapons, so let's keep going. Look at all these people. What's going on here? Repent. Repent and restore your souls. Oh my goodness, the preacher is from the this great station. The mad prophet, and yes. And look, he's got a following. Yeah, Mass Effect 2. Nice, nice, nice. Sir. We should be hiding back here. We should be out there fighting with them. Okay, well I'm not stopping you. Come on. Oh boy. What's wait, what's this? Shotgun Omni Blade 2. Elevator. Irene here. Something's not right. Cerberus is still on my station. Of course something's not right. Not what I was talking about. I'm checking this out. Going radio silent. What the hell is she doing? Where's Nyrene? Scouting ahead. We've got our hands full holding this area. She's going on to afterlife.
Uh-oh. Now you're gonna... That's it, Arya. Use your biotics to the fullest. Let's kill him now. It's awfully quiet. Nyrene Kandros was a good soldier. It's a shame she had to die for your petty ambitions. You're a dead man. No, wait. What now, Petrovsky? Divide and conquer, Commander. Kandros killed the adjutants we hadn't finished experimenting on. We are fully under our control. The protocols for our future army. Oh no, now they can dodge. Oh, come on, that's not what I'm trying to do. All right, here, let me heal up. Oh my goodness, really? <laughs> wow. Hold the perimeter. Keep Shepard away from those generators.
Come on, Shepard, hurry. just happened I didn't die was it Aria oh my goodness this is not easy at all we might have to put this on easy this is crazy Okay, so not only do I have to... And there's an adjutant back there too? And part of the problem is he's not even going... He's not running properly. the other one. Excuse my language, this is ridiculous.
Flare and Lash unlocked. He's surrendering. All right, can we get up here? That was something else. Cease and desist all aggression. It's over. Commander Shepard, I surrender myself into your custody. That is the most pathetic thing I've ever heard. Mm. Shepard, I'm unarmed. And I can give the Alliance intel on the elusive man. Really? You're gonna flip that easily? You'll say anything to save your skin. I, I let you escape, Omega. I deserve mercy. Is this true, Arya? Inexplicably. I think he'd agree now that it was the biggest mistake of his life. But this is murder. That's right. Cold blooded. Murder. And Shepard is not going to help. You deserve. That's it, Arya. Kill him. Oh, no. Not yet. You don't get a quick, easy death. Oh. Clean up this mess. Shepard, I never thought I'd enjoy having a partner. Oh! Thank you for not interfering. Killing that man was deeply satisfying. I'm sure and it thanks was. thanks to you, I have Omega back. Yeah, if you didn't kill him, Arya, Shepard certainly was going to. All right, so what now? So what's your plan? There's a lot to rebuild. Starting with this command center. It may take some time to remove the general stink from my throne. wonder if I'll ever really enjoy the pole dancing in here again. <laughs> I think that there are sounds that are just missing. There should be music and the people cheering and all that kind of stuff. So I apologize. I don't know if this is uh, you know, just my rig, my setup, that the sounds aren't working, or if this is some sort of a bug in the, uh, the DLC. But uh, yeah, this is eerily silent. All right. Time to pay up. And you remember the terms of our arrangement? I pay my debts. You'll get everything. All the troops, ships, and the Ezo. Then I'll be going. Bray will take you back. I have a station to whip into shape. Citizens of Omega! Hear me. I, Arya Talok, have given you back your lives. My rule is reignited. My hand is on the controls once more, and I will not let go again. Each of you owes a debt. Gain my favor by rounding up the remaining Cerberus invaders and... and we'll take our revenge. It's their turn to tremble. Their turn to bleed. Going forward, your lives will be hard. But the price you pay is for your freedom. Only I can protect that. And hear this. I will make Omega impenetrable. No one will ever threaten my domain again. From this day on, the galaxy will know one hard truth. 
Don't fuck with Omega. You always get these crap details, Bray? <laughs> Not this time. You got a galaxy to save. Let's get you off this rock. <laughs> Oh, so it's don't F with Omega now. It was don't F with Aria. Okay, I guess she's changed. All right, no more cutscenes. All right, let's see all that we've gotten here. It looks like we have Omega now on our side. Alan Mercenary Saboteurs. Omega Resistance. Terminus Fleet. Terminus Irregulars. Okay, so this should help us with our military strength against the Reapers. Hopefully we're close to the recommended level. And, um... I think that is going to be it. That concludes the Omega DLC, and I have to say that I didn't enjoy this one as much as I did Leviathan. I thought Leviathan was much better because it really added to the lore and, and tell, tell, told you, you know, how the Reapers came to be and, and whatnot. And I thought that was pretty riveting and fascinating stuff. But this one. You know, it you know it throws some nods back to Mass Effect 2. Yeah, it was clever, but it just wasn't as fun. And plus, I got my ass kicked uh, at the end there. That was a tough battle. It's like I had to really get serious and and take out those Cerberus forces and and get to the general. But he's dead now, and we will continue with more Mass Effect 3. And I think we're going back to the um, story mode. I think this is going to be uh, us heading to the conclusion of the game. So, until next time, this is Hill, and I'm out.